In this video, we look at the new apps available in S4HANA 1909 for liquidity management. One app for master data preparation, manage global accounting hierarchies, and two apps for analysis and forecasting, cash flow analyzer, and liquidity forecast. If you are familiar with the old version of cash and liquidity management, you probably know that liquidity analysis and forecasting requires customizing and master data preparation. You need to identify all processes and sources which have an impact on the actual and on the future cash flow and structure them according to your analysis needs. The main structure used in cash flow and liquidity reports is the liquidity item hierarchy. Starting from S4HANA release 1909, this hierarchy must be maintained in the app Manage Global Accounting Hierarchies. The configuration path, Define Liquidity Item Hierarchies, has been removed. If you have already created hierarchies, Via this customizing activities in previous releases, you need to migrate them by using the import hierarchy function in the app Manage Global Accounting Hierarchies. The prerequisite for creating a hierarchy is the activation of the full scope of sub cash management and the creation of liquidity items in the customizing. Liquidity items represent different sources of cash flow or balance values. Each liquidity item has a key, a name, a description, and an assignment to the cash flow direction, either inflow or outflow. As an example for inflow, trade receivables. An example for outflow, trade payables. Now we will show you how to create a new hierarchy using the app Manage Global Accounting Hierarchies. As hierarchy type, select Liquidity Item Hierarchy, assign a hierarchy ID, add a description and a validity time frame. Once the top node is created, you can assign liquidity items created in customizing as subnodes. We have four subnodes. On the first level for operational cash in and out and for financial cash in and out. In the next step, we assign liquidity items on the second level. In our case, these are interest and taxes for the financial inflow. And trade receivables and cash from asset sales for the operational inflow. Of course, any liquidity items and structures can be defined in a way which are applicable for you. Usually, the values for liquidity items are determined according to configuration settings. Default liquidity items for GL accounts or derivation rules for source documents. Sometimes liquidity items cannot be derived this way because a new business process was not taken into account in the configuration. SAP has introduced a machine learning algorithm for these cases which helps to identify the probable liquidity items from past data. It is accessible in the app Adjust Assigned Liquidity Items, which we will cover in one of our next videos. So don't forget to subscribe. Now we will look at two new analytical reports, Cashflow Analyzer and Liquidity Forecast. They are successors for the old program's cash position, transaction code FF7A, and liquidity forecast, 
transaction code FF7B, which are not available anymore in S4HANA 1909. The reports are available in the following two business catalogs. Cash Management, Cash Operations and Cash Management, Liquidity Management. In order to use the reports, you need to activate the embedded analytics functionality as well as the BI content for cash. The report Cashflow Analyzer integrates data from all data sources specified in customizing, for example, invoices, memory records, payment orders, payment requests, and so on. The default view shows the opening inflow, outflow and closing balance by selected time dimensions, in our example 6 months starting from February 28. The in and outflows you see here include actual as well as forecasted payments from invoices and other payment related documents. Cash flows can be structured by one or several characteristics, for example profit centers, segments and so on. The time dimensions can be divided in days, weeks, months, quarters or years. They can either be restricted to the actual cash flow or extended with medium and long term liquidity forecasts. By selecting the dimension 1 day, you can see your cash position for a certain key date. The characteristic certainty level can be used in order to see actual and formatted cash flow separately from each other. In our example, REC underscore N is a forecasted cash flow from accounts receivable and SI underscore CIT are actual payments. By switching between the balance view and the delta view, it is possible to see the net cash flows only. Cash flows can be analyzed by bank account groups or liquidity items using a hierarchy created in the Manage Global Accounting Hierarchy app. This app can be used to give a high level overview to management as well as to answer liquidity related questions on a detailed level. By click on an item, you can navigate to the Check Cash Flow Items app to check the original document which was the source for the cash flow item. In this way, the source for outlier values can be identified or reasons for cash flow deviations across different periods be determined and so on. The app Liquidity Forecast provides a liquidity trend for 90 days. The biggest advantage of this app is a flexible graphical representation of values. It can be a useful addition to the cash flow analyzer if a management summary on liquidity needs to be prepared. You can switch between charts and tables. Here you are free to choose between different chart types columns, pie, line, and so on. Also, various dimensions can be filtered and drilled down in order to show values for specific key data. Data can be downloaded to Excel. The navigation to cash flow items is also possible and you can see all original documents which were the source for the displayed cash flows in one view. Finally, we want to draw your attention to the new functionality in S4HANA, KPI tiles for the Fiori Launchpad. Here is an example for a standard KPI tile, Cash Position. Its value is taken from the same source as cash flow values in the cash flow analyzer. It is updated real time and always at hand without digging into reports. 
You also have the possibility to create your own KPIs. We explain how in our video KPI ties in S4HANA.